Miguel Almaguer explains. As the nation adds another 74,000 new COVID cases in a single day, tonight the numbers are among the most concerning for the young. New infections among 10 to 19 year olds are climbing. In Minnesota, they account for one in every six new cases. Dr. Ben Gupta is seeing younger patients with serious lung problems. Once COVID-19 wreaks havoc on lungs, it doesn't really matter if you're older or younger. No one and no region is immune. For 16 straight days, Michigan has seen over a 100% spike in new infection rates. The numbers are just going up and up and up, and every day when I look at our COVID numbers, they're higher than the day before. With 25% of adults vaccinated, there are more reports of breakthrough cases. 102 fully vaccinated people in Washington later caught the virus. It comes after 141 cases in South Carolina and 374 in Minnesota. He just said over 600 people who were fully vaccinated still got COVID-19. And it's the new strain of COVID-19. So that means the gamma radiation has gotten stronger and it's attacking children and they're getting lung infections that are causing them to be sent to the emergency room to be put on respirators. And some young people are dying. Teenagers are dying now. The gamma radiation has only gotten stronger. It's not going to get less stronger. And the COVID-19 strains are going to continue to mutate. So soon the vaccines are not going to be strong enough and the vaccines may not even lo work longer than seven months. There are volcanoes erupting everywhere. There are earthquakes happening everywhere and the aftershocks are stronger than the first initial earthquake, which is not um, usually possible. So things are getting worse. The gamma radiation is stronger. It's not going to get less stronger. It's going to get worse. And since most of the world is not vaccinated, those people who are not vaccinated, they're going to get a stronger version of COVID-19, the mutated version. So when people's vaccines are not working anymore, those people are going to get the new version of the mutated COVID-19 because the gamma radiation is going to be stronger and the vaccine is not going to work. That's how the cleansing is going to go into full effect. And that's how people are going to start turning into zombies and the famine is going to happen, but the electricity is going to go out too. So this is the beginning. Again, this is a warning. Everything I have shared has come true, but it's because I'm following the prophecy and the science of the gamma radiation that is attacking the sun and the sun's solar radiation mag um, magnetic shields. Your only protection from COVID-19 and the seven seals, which is the cleansing, is following the perfect Savior's instructions at 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 5 through 7. But I have a video called The Immortals 22 Laws. If you follow the 22 laws, you get your angel protection and you get eternal life. With 25% of adults vaccinated, there are more reports of breakthrough cases. 102 fully vaccinated people in Washington later caught the virus. It comes after 141 cases in South Carolina and 374 in Minnesota. Experts say the infections are rare and a reminder. The vaccine's a strong layer of protection, but not a silver bullet. Nurse practitioner Diane Schmidt contracted COVID four months after she was vaccinated. My case is definitely an outlier. I would still highly recommend the vaccine. But in North Carolina and Colorado, closures at mass vaccination sites. Hundreds had appointments canceled after a small number of adverse reactions. Tonight, both centers set to soon reopen. Progress, but not without setbacks. There is also a new worry. The true number of new infections is much higher than being reported. One reason, many testing sites have turned into vaccination centers. Last and the vaccines have certainly been shown to be effective against many of the variants that have emerged globally. Any worry, though, that more variants, including this new double mutant variant that's now been detected in California, may be able to develop and spread more quickly, especially among younger people who have yet to be vaccinated? 
Yeah, I mean, when it comes to variants, the past does not predict the future. Uh, we could see variants that develop that, that are not covered by our vaccine, that are not covered by some of the drugs that have been developed. And so it, it makes it so incredibly important we do all we can to not just vaccinate people, but, but to also reduce the amount of transmission that's occurring in the community. Because as the virus spreads, whether it's spreading among people who are at greater risk of dying from this or just spreading among people who are at lower risk, but it allows the virus to, to multiply and replicate, that leads to an increase number of variants and that puts everyone at risk. In wealthy countries who are consuming the vast majority of available doses. Could the progress that we've made on getting vaccines administered in the U.S. be reduced uh, if other countries aren't vaccinated quickly as well? It definitely will. You know, we see variants that spring up all over the globe, and they put us at risk here in our country. So while there is a moral and ethical, uh, I think, um, duty to, to help support the vaccination uh, efforts around the globe, we also have a self-interest here in the United States of reducing transmission, reducing the development of, of new variants. Dr. Richard Besser, always appreciate your insight.